we are able to see majority of career transitions happening around AI. For example, especially for people about 10 years. So like there is a brilliant pay packages, like we are able to see 45 LPA and some of the colleagues are getting placed at 80 LPA. So 1 CR packages, 1.2 CR packages. So these are all happening for managers in AI or leaders in AI. So like a head of engineering in AI. So this kind of positions, we are able to see very, very high fat salaries, we are able to notice it. And within India, within various countries, like even US, UK, we are able to see very high fat salaries for AI roles. So you can think, what about data science? So the, the kind of weightage we have on data science, now what is happening is, all data science profiles are trying to be called as generative AI profiles. If you are targeting for data science alone, you don't get good package. You need to target for generative AI roles, but for a generative AI role, you need to have more roles and responsibilities or you need to have more skill set. So if I want to learn, for example, if I want to learn from scratch as a generative AI engineer, so these are the kind of skills one need to learn. So you need to start learning from Python. So whether you are learning data science or whether you are learning AI, Python is your entire generative AI role going to be on Python. And especially if you are trying for a manager role, your goal is not really to be a programmer. The goal is not really to be into development side of it. The goal is actually to manage the team, to strategize your Gen AI roadmap or AI roadmap or the AI project. So the goal is not just about developing or coding it to make sure you are developing a successful AI product. So that is a primary idea behind it. So you need to discuss or you need to manage multiple teams. So in order to deliver the project on time, so in, in those lines, so like you are learning Python as a prerequisite or for your better understanding. So you are learning SQL, it's no need to learn Power BI. If you want, you can just have a knowledge of Power BI, like in case if you want to create that monitoring and all that in your Power BI dashboard, yes, I think Power BI is one of the tools. And then you need to have the knowledge of statistics, you need to have the knowledge of machine learning. And within machine learning, you are understanding regression, classification, forecasting. So in interviews, especially people who are going going to the interviews, I'm able to see these questions coming from statistics, coming questions from ML, regression, classification, forecasting, and they're asking questions on natural language processing, natural language understanding, natural language generation. And then they are asking questions on deep learning, especially they don't ask questions on TensorFlow, PyTorch, but this is the libraries we use it in order to develop deep learning. So now uh, in deep learning, they ask questions related to your activation functions, optimizers, so learning rate, how you select a neural network architecture and all of this. And then the most of the interview questions come from generative AI. So within generative AI model parameters, what is temperature? So what is top P? What is top K? So what is frequency penalty? So how what, what type of prompt templates you created, what is few short prompt, zero short prompt, single short prompt, what is chain of thought prompt, what is role based. So all of these questions from generative AI. They work on questions like how you reduce hallucination rates. So like how you reduce the billing. So how you maintain the quality of your generative AI project. So how you initiate a generative AI project. So prompt engineering best practices using Langchain, Lang graphs, RAG architecture. So like again, vector store, vector databases. So now you know in lines of vector databases, which vector databases you are selecting based on your project. And then you are deploying on AWS uh, Bedrock and uh, Azure. AWS Bedrock is not pri primarily for deployment. AWS Bedrock is a platform which contain lot of LLM models, so, or we can say foundational models. So have you used AWS Bedrock Agent Core? So now these are the skills you are learning. And again, if you want to deploy it, so now you need to deploy using CI/CD pipeline. So for that, we use MLOps if it is ML project or a deep learning project. So, or you will be using LLM ops or you will be using FM ops. So foundational model operations, or we can say fine tuning of your operations of your model. And then your, while you're building agentic AI application, you're dealing with MCPs, you're understanding autogen, crew AI. So like you are working on lang flows, you are working on lang chains. So like you're working on apart from it, uh, N8 and make. So now N8 and make is more like a drag and drop. Lang flow is also a drag and drop. Whereas using autogen or using crew AI or using lang graphs or coding driven, you are able to orchestrate better. And you are able to come up with agents with human in loop kind of agents, we are able to develop it. And uh, computer vision. 
question now out of all these skills now if i want to learn if i want to be a generative agent this is the sequence you need to learn so like you are starting with python sql stats ml forecasting nlp deep learning this is the flow you are going in this for a generative AI engineer role, the very, very important things you use it in your day to day project going to be Python. If you are professional or if you are a fresher, you spend a lot of time on coding. If you are a manager, you may not use your coding, but you will be using stats. Yes, important. ML is important. So, for understanding, but your end to end project primarily happens on these skills generative AI skills, prompt engineering, lang, lang chains, rags. So like uh, line graphs, vector store, vector databases. So you are using AWS Bedrock, Bedrock Agent Core, using MLOps, LLMOps. Again, to do MLOps and LLMOps, we have DevOps team there. So you don't need to learn it especially, but you are having a skill. So the primary skills going to be generative AI, prompt engineering, vector database, Azure, AWS Bedrock, Agent AI, MCP, Autogen, Crew AI. So this stuff is very, very important. And apart from it, if you want to learn, so can't I just want to understand it better? You can even learn, so like LLM ops or ML ops. You are able to understand even fine tuning. So, like in order to understand fine tuning, you need to understand the concepts of computer vision, understand CNNs, RNNs, LSTMs, GANs, transformers. So, I see in interviews they are asking questions on transform model, BERT architecture, so GPT architecture. So, all of these questions they are asking it. So, like again, types of fine tuning they are asking in the interviews. So, that's the reason. So, now this is a road map which I uh, teach it to my students where I start from Python and I go up to fine tuning and in case if you want to learn and based on the importance you can learn like this no so I want to learn it as a manager level you can book a one on one call I can guide you how exactly you need to prepare as a manager level so how exactly what skills you need to learn I can give a detailed roadmap around it and once everything is completed you need to work around resume related roles and responsibility the roles and responsibilities varies so from manager for example, these are the kind of roles for managers. For example, if I'm a manager, I can say I'm an architect and oversees enterprise grade Gen AI systems. So as a manager or a leader, I define and implement Gen AI strategies for organizations like vision, roadmap, ethics, and governance. I lead multidisciplinary teams. So where if I go as a professional, he can develop it. So now why I go and hire a professional is I want to deliver AI solutions or Gen AI solutions or agent AI solution within few months. I will be paying a lot of salary. I hire a professional who can really implement it. Now I have a budget constraints and I want to implement it in a long term. I want to build a team of Gen AI people. Then I hire the freshers who already have the skills of this and I hire them. So now if you are looking for a very good salary, focus on professionals. And if you are about 10 years, focus towards roles like manager level or a leader level roles, try to give a try of it. So that going to get, get you a very good package and it can give you a lot of mileage for your career. So now this is what happening right now in the industry. Now this is the roadmap which I teach to my students which starts with python sql stats ml they learn everything from a scratch and they go for if you are a manager we can customize the roadmap according to your requirement so now in case if you want to know more about this if you want to understand one-on-one -on -one roadmap call yes you can just book a one-on-one -on -one call the links are in the description i am happy to assist you throughout your career transition journey on ai agent thank you so much